Three months ago, on a beautiful August day, 10 families from Issaquah's Sycamore neighborhood gathered 475 pounds of food scraps and food soiled paper from their kitchens into a pile big enough for eco-consumer Tom Watson to stand on, with the promise that in three months, this would be turned into soil-enriching compost to be donated to the Issaquah Flatland Community Garden to help grow food to support the local food bank. So let's fast forward to December 16th, on a not-so-nice day, as Cedar Grove Compost delivers. So we see that our food scraps get turned into compost that grows more food and that's really what recycling is all about, making something that used to be considered, I mean, just imagine this ch these chicken guts and the rotten banana, this, this used to be considered garbage filling our landfill. Now it is a resource getting turned into compost and more food for, for our families. Despite the driving rainstorm, neighbors and volunteers rolled up their soggy sleeves to spread the compost onto the garden beds, knowing in a few months' time, the compost will help transform these almost empty planters into a bounty of fresh fruits and vegetables. I guess everybody knows it's a little bit more difficult to get good produce from uh, soil that's not nutritionally rich. So um, we are, have the benefit of getting uh, our neighbors from Sycamore neighborhood to collect their food, uh, food scraps. Cedar Grove took those food scraps, turned it into compost, and King County selected us as the recipient of this biologically rich compost that certainly is gonna give us a head start at producing healthy vegetables this coming year. The average King County household produces about 40 pounds of food scraps and food soiled paper every month. Putting it in your yard waste cart and turning it into compost instead of tossing it into the garbage cart and sending it to the landfill is a win all around because reducing the amount of garbage you make extends the life of the landfill and provides compost that's good for your garden. You may also be able to move to a smaller garbage can to save money by recycling more. It was really easy. Um, those uh, biodegradable bags kept it mess-free and um, I found it just took a couple of weeks before the family started catching on as I would pull stuff out of the garbage and go hey this can go in this bin or this can go <laughs> this can be recycled and um, I'm just amazed at how much we produce we still go on producing about 10 pounds a week and it's nice to keep that out of the landfills this is an example of where your yard waste and food waste goes and pr produces benefit for the community uh, either in your own uh, local garden or through agriculture. So uh, we, we love it whenever we can tell the story of closing the loop that it turns into something useful and important that we can use in our gardens and bring back to our neighborhood. So thank you for recycling your food scraps because we get to make great compost out of it. You can buy Cedar Grove compost made from your recycled food scraps, food soiled paper and yard waste at local garden centers and make sure you put only the compostable items in your curbside yard waste cart. Peel the fruit stickers off of skins of produce and vegetables. Don't put any plastics or metal objects in the yard waste cart. For more information about signing up for service or what to put in your yard waste cart, go to our website, www.recyclefood.com.